Jimmy and I decided that we were going to go on vacation and we were going to go to Moyers, Oklahoma to K River Campground and on the way to Oklahoma we would stop by Leslie, Arkansas where my cousin lives. When I first started my YouTube channel Jenny and I drove down to Arkansas for Ryan's wedding and I did a few uh, videos of Little Rock, Arkansas and of the antique stores in Leslie. We had a wonderful visit with Ryan, his wife Jordan, and their daughter Joe, and we also learned more about the family run business that Jordan is now in charge of that her dad and mom started in the in the nineteen eighties and it has been continuously making wooden utensils and serving pieces since then. She has now moved the operation to Leslie and it was amazing to Jimmy and me to really learn about the family owned business from start to finish, how the process and what the process is that goes into making these handcrafted items. We're on our way over to my cousin's house for breakfast. The first person we are going to meet is Darren. He is one of their woodworkers that helps them make the spoons. He was super great at explaining the process to us and it was a very last minute idea so I really appreciate the time that he took to explain everything. That's a blank. Okay. And so somebody goes and marks them out um, of a board. Uh-huh. You know and you have to filter through and make sure it's a good quality board. No cracks, no checking, you know, no rotten spots okay. or whatever. So we want to use premium wood and then we have patterns that we use to draw out all the various shapes, and we call that a blank. Okay. Uh, and that's all cut out of the bandsaw. Uh, and then from there, it's taken and shaped into its... Oh. So that's just a raw shaped spoon there. Uh, and that's down on a back sander. And if it's a spoon, then we gouge it. If it's a flatware, then it goes on to the next sanding phase, um, which is what you'll see me doing okay. here today. And it's going to get noisy. Okay. <laughs> Okay. And 
it is done by hand, so there is variation uh, with every spoon. Right. It's, I mean, it's, it's uh, whereas a machine might produce exactly the same thing, but it also has no character. And it has people want that character. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, it, it's a higher quality. I see the defects. Yeah. So I'm able to comb them out okay. as I'm making them. Okay. We don't like to get very far and realize, oh, it's going to crack. Right. But, but if we do, it goes out. So you have the quality well, control. A machine punched spoon, right. where is the quality control? Right, exactly. Yeah. There is no quality yeah. control. When this is shaped, and I'm not doing it. Right, right, right. Kind of, uh, you lose material. So, okay. so the blank is made a little bit bigger. Bigger okay. to account for that. Okay. Because if, if the blank started out this size, then the spoon would be <laughs> right. that much okay. smaller. Sure. Right? Okay. I was wondering how much of a leeway you have to have there. And now we are going to go inside to Ryan and Jordan's house where Ryan is going to explain the final step in the process of making these items. Here is what all of the wooden utensils look like before the last step when they are sealed with a special beeswax mineral mixture that Ryan and Jordan will explain further and in better detail than I can. It's, well, it's, I'll probably do a voiceover. I don't know what I'll do. I don't know. What is, what is in there? So it's it's beeswax. It's, this is the, the polish that goes okay. on, on top of it, which is um, beeswax and various oils. I, I might be olive oil, I can tell you for sure. Okay. So we'll, we'll find out. It's all natural. It's so, all natural yeah, stuff. It's all natural. Okay. Yeah, that's right. So we'll just take a little bit on our, on our socks. And, oh. and what wood is that? From. Do you know what that this is, is cherry. Oh, cherry. So oh, look at how it just brightens right up. Yeah, right? Exactly. So it's kind of a dull color and then just polishes into wow. something very beautiful. It, 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 very much no. No, no. And that's it. And that's it. That's really? All it is. This, is, this is how we get the, uh -huh. the shine. And then we, we'll uh, we have another cloth. We'll wipe off the excess, you know. Okay. So and then do you do another coat or just one coat? Just one coat. coat. Just one coat. So, that. Like the, so this is the. Um, uh, black walnut. And it just darkens right up, and all the all the unique patterns and things like that. Oh, look at you that! Know, the wood just kind of come out and pop through. That's so pretty. Yes, I mean, it, it, it was pretty in the raw state. Yes, it, they you are. Put this on it and takes it to like the next level. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, that's all good. Big spoons. That is crazy. That is crazy. Cool. And fairly simple. Yeah. I mean, not like 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 because you're polishing. And I can sometimes smell yeah. like an arduous task, but this right. is like yeah, uh, you just, I just put this little yeah. bit on and I put a little on my and yep. I just yep. take about twenty or thirty seconds and it looks amazing. And, and how yeah. they discovered to use that? They used of, oh, this this yeah. what, what they're using. You'd you'd have to ask her. I mean, I don't right. I don't know okay. if this is what they've been doing the whole time, you know, or what something she's come up with, or even developed on her own over time. So, I mean, you know, grain scoops and things like that too, you know. Oh, was that, that, I was going to ask what that was for. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's for candy. Candy. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> So are the woods you use mostly are the cherry and right, right now it's just the cherry and the black walnut. That's what we're ordering. That's what's sold most in the past. She's used other woods in the past. I don't remember exactly which ones they are. Yeah. That's so, so cool. But these are I mean these have the beautiful natural grains inside. Mm -hmm. I and mean, it's amazing to just think what's inside the wood, right? Exactly. So you, kind of, you slice it halfway and you see just what's going on in there. It's so pretty. Very nice. Oh. So just take the, 
and then just wipe off the excess. Yep. We have our finished product, well, almost finished product. She uh, uses that wood burner and marks right. a, little, a little star on the back just to kind of identify Give it a little, it yes, oh, hers, yeah. yes. Yeah, she puts the, the wood, because she has a little symbol that's on the oh, finished yeah. product. I could turn that on. I could put one on there. You can watch me do one. Or... That's a, um, either a, ma a meat mallet or, a, or I guess a, a roller. I, it's labeled as a mallet on our A on mallet. Our I would think that this would be for um, doing like herbs, and motor and pestle. Yeah. That is really cool. Huh. That is crazy. So we usually don't do those. It's interesting to see that. As well, because it, it kind of stood out. Yeah. It was like, it was like, I mean, it looked like, I thought maybe this is one still in work in progress. Yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> no I would no. use this as a... Herbs. Herbs. Yeah. Is this a cake server? So that's is a pie server. Pie server? Oh, yeah. cake servers. Um, well, that's, the, that's the knife that goes, oh. that cuts oh. in the oh, wow. cake server. Oh, that is cool. These are the cake servers. So the pie servers oh. are pointed and the cake servers are. Cake server, pie server, knife. Yeah. And look at that, how thin that, that is. That's crazy. Yeah. And it's so comfortable. I know. Well, I mean, well, you know, holding you know, like natural wood in your hands. Is nice. Yeah, it is nice. I mean, it's, oh, and then look at that, Jen, Jimmy. Look. Wow. Look how. I know. That's crazy. It totally transforms that. Huh? It really does. Yeah. Because it's kind of bland. Yeah. And then you do that, and it seriously just brings it to life. Yeah. And then they, my parents started doing this, so. I don't know. I think they did. They did different. They probably tried different things. Different with things it. and came up with that. Mm -hmm. So what is it? He said it was bees. It's it's, it's beeswax and it's just two things. It's beeswax and um, we use um, this one has. I think this one's sunflower oil. Oh, sunflower. Oil. So you just need like a thinner carrier oil because the beeswax is hard. It's like this. Oh, it comes like that. Yeah, if you let it. So you so you make this. Yeah. Like you don't so you it, melt like it. it yeah, you just take like just take a chunk of that, melt it down, and then add the add the thinner like carrier oil to make it like a spread. Okay. Um, and so then that and it smells smells like beeswax, which yeah. is nice. Yeah, is it, yeah, very nice. Yeah. So it's like a thick, kind of like a thick paste. So we just wipe that on and then buff it off. Oh, we were, I was thinking this was a pestle. Yeah. Uh-huh. Did and he tell you what it is? Well, well we were quite shore. sure. Yeah. <laughs> this, is it a pestle? Because there was only one there. There's not. Um, so it has a, the sharp, or not sharp, but like the straight edge. Yeah. You know, we could obviously round that is off. Is it tenderizing? It is for sauerkraut. <gasps> it's sauerkraut. It's a smasher. So you have, have you ever made it at home? No, but no. they do make sauerkraut where we are. Yeah. yeah. That's a big thing. Yeah. We did, um... When Joe oh. was little, we would make it, and um, and yeah, you you have to like smash, 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 and get all the water to come out yeah. of the cabbage. Oh, because of the so it's a cabbage smash, smasher. Oh, interesting. <laughs> I don't think we guessed that. No, we did not <laughs> guess that. That was when I think someone asked us for it, and we were like, we like sauerkraut. Yeah, we'll make one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's kind of neat. Um, I especially, it's especially impressive that uh, my brother's, um, he's very, att his attention to detail, yeah. he, they do all this by hand on, I mean, on the machine, so they, it could be really wonky, but he makes sure it's like, very straight, yeah. very straight yeah. lines, yeah. I'm always impressed with his oh. kraut mashers. Interesting. Yeah. That's interesting. <laughs> it's interesting. Yeah. And that little cutting knife I thought was really neat. Yeah, yeah. That, that's so neat. We only, the cutting, the knife, we only uh, sell as a pair with one of these. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh. We, um. Well, you need to cut your cake and pie. I know, I know, but yeah. I yeah. <laughs> right, that's, what, that's exactly, it. that's a different color, but, oh, yeah. Here's oh, a walnut here's another one. Wow. Walnut kraut masher. Yeah, so we would put a, a black walnut knife with. Not a cherry knife. No, oh, okay. <laughs> right. With a pie server or with a cake server. So, 
for our wedding. That's what we had with our. Mm -hmm. A lot of people order these for, for, for weddings. weddings. Okay. I've, oh, I've that's had, a nice keepsake too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very yeah. nice. And you can. Um, we don't do custom wood burning because I always tell people, I'm like, I'm not a wood burning artist because there are wood burning artists, right. but you can have your name and oh, date. Added to it, it, yeah. yeah. That's um, a good idea. Huh. Yeah. And then I've seen people like dip the end and like glitter it to, for the, you know, that they want to make the it color. more festive. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. so you could do that. So, yeah. That's a good idea. So those are fun. This is a spurtle. Did he tell you that? Oh, a spur a oh, a spurtle. That's yeah. for stirring. Yeah. Your oatmeal. Yep. Um, you got it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, now, when like the transition, like when you said like your dad started this, mm -hmm. was there like a time, um, you know, years ago, that, like you thought, do I really want to continue this, or or you knew, <laughs> or you knew you were going to continue this just for the just for the historical part, you know, just because like, the like sentimental like, and sentimental. historical. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think. Well, the answer is both. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So to me, it did feel really important to continue. Um, by the time my dad had died, I had to, like come on to help him kind of revive it and okay. and um, make make the business um, get. We got the business online yeah. and things like that. Um, okay. So during I think mostly during 2013 is when I started um, kind of managing. We would do shows. Okay. We do craft shows, which my sister would do. My dad wasn't able to work at the business anymore, but right. he wanted to keep it going, right. um, which was sweet. <clears throat> One more year doing that. So he, um, so with him doing it, and then my sister was help. My sister and brother were, had started to help because we'd gotten enough work at that right. point. Um, and then I was managing everything, so it was sort of like when he died, like the transition, you know, had almost already happened. Okay. We so were all there. Okay. And I was like, well, let's keep doing it. Okay. Um, but then, yeah, but then I think like my brother got work somewhere else and then my sister mm. wasn't sure. Oh. And then we had to think like, well, do I want to hire, a, you know, another woodworker? Right. To after? copy. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. are these his are the have the designs changed or are they kind of similar to what he so um makes, like the shapes made, and stuff yeah we made the spurtle and the masher since 2014 so my these are my brother's design okay um <clears throat> this is something that my dad made this is a very original design um and then my dad was making the ladle as oh, okay well. we should oil those up but um and so most of them are the same. Okay. Uh, my sister designed this one. Oh. And I don't know. Oh, yeah. I, I designed all the little ones. It's like the coffee <laughs> scoop. Oh, a coffee um, scoop. And we have a little saute spoon. And, and I can get some of the small adorable. ones. adorable. And a little so sugar cute. spoon. So um, I designed a couple of those. But most of the original designs, there's probably a base of... I would say like 15, 10, 10 to 15 of the original designs. Okay. Like my dad made this grain scoop or flour scoop or sugar scoop, whatever you, whatever you have. To whatever you need for. a scoop. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and then as like, as we were working in the shop, so at different times when we were doing the production ourselves, we would design new things. Um, Do you know how many different things you have? I think 21. 21 different designs. Yeah, because wow. I tried to narrow it That's down to 20, and then okay. I think we added this. <laughs> so I was like, we're only making 20, yeah. 20 okay. things. Um, th so that's where it is now. But there were times, yeah, like, do we want to hire outside right. work? Oh, that is adorable. I know, right? Mm, these are really popular because they're just so pretty, though. The black walnut. They are pretty. Yeah. And then these, um, we learned that they are sauté spoons. Oh, there's this, this star. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, there, oh there's, there's this star. Uh, yeah, these are oh, they're sauté spoons. Finished. Oh, because yeah. yeah. then you can taste the like stuff. Like saucepan, and yeah. they just they're handy to grab. When that's what I grab in the kitchen more than well, more than anything except this. Well, I won't show you mine. I'll show you <laughs> mine. <Yeah, stuff>. right. <laughs> Mine's used. Um, we designed that as the cake server, yeah. mm -hmm. but it is excellent for 
like scraping the pan. Like just like the chef's multi tool. Yeah. Okay. We've had cooks, you know, people who cook a lot yeah. or are chefs, and they're like, "No, this is this is the everything. This is not for cake." Yeah. Because <laughs> oh, they're like, okay. "I use this for burgers. I so I they'll you oh, know, yeah. saute with it." See, I um, had to get over the beauty of it and just be like, know, just right. use it as a utensil. Right. It's okay. It mm-hmm. like, well, See, I'm going to go home and be like, okay, we are going to use these. And, mm-hmm. I just look and then if you feel sad, just call me <laughs> and I'll tell you how to, you can buff it out okay. real quick, very yeah. quickly. Okay. Yeah. Even if it gets like, it'll get a little bit of a raised grain or right. like the edge of this will get rough. Um, just with use yeah. and right. then, and washing. Okay. Um, but you can actually just like, it takes just two seconds with, um, a little bit of uh, sandpaper, okay. 350 grit, and just like ch- 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 take that and off, spread some of this back on, on it, it, and it'll be fine. And it looks the oh. same as that. Wow. Again, so so it, it, it does wear because it is wood. It right, it is going to wear. With use. But that's some of the beauty of it is that you can see like the the meals and the cooking and the love that's gone I mean, into the utensils. The yeah. I mean, like, even right. on a rubber spatula, you don't keep yeah. it until, you know, eventually it hits a point yeah. where it's stowed away and it's good. And even those, like the bamboo yeah. spoon, right. wooden spoons, those right. are like yeah. the popular you can grab at Walmart or right. anywhere. Yeah. They do too. Yeah. Yeah. But this is, I mean, handcrafted. Right. It's so cool. It's what's, beautiful. And what's really, I mean, it, what gives me a lot of hope too is I think if they're really well made, I have people who especially you know when we did shows or just friends uh, like family friends and they'll they'll tell me like oh yeah i have my grandma's um, wooden spoon right, like they sure. sat on the yes. counter right. in a you know in a thing yeah, yeah um, jar in and, a jar. and then, but you can use these and they'll I yeah mean, and so like nice. they've they've made it through multiple generations right. and i'm just like that's i would love if that's what our spoons oh, was, of course you know, did so yeah And I feel that they are little works of art in your hand, each one handmade from start to finish. It was an amazing process to see firsthand. I hope you enjoyed this video. There is a direct link to her Etsy shop in the description of this video. I hope you're having a great day. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see ya in Oklahoma.